Let's start with a look at where things stand with the numbers. Today, the state adds another 3,431 cases and 131 deaths from the virus. For the fourth straight week, Michigan is leading the nation in case rates. Now the number of people vaccinated, 50% of the state population has received one dose. 38% is fully vaccinated. This week, Governor Whitmer announced the state's reopening plans would be tied to vaccination rates. The first reopening tier starts when 55% of the population has received at least one dose. Wayne County is trying to get more shots into arms, and they're coming to you to get it done. Yeah, the county will start an in-home vaccinations program for people who are homebound. Larry Spruill spoke to a woman who says this is really welcome news for a lot of people. Steve and Sandra, this is huge news for those who are homebound and want to get the vaccine. They can now get the shot in the comfort of their own home. Just this week, Wayne County announced their homebound program. They are bringing the vaccines to those who can't physically leave their home. It's all a part of Wayne County's ongoing efforts to increase vaccine access to residents who may want the vaccination but can't make it to one of the health department's COVID vaccine clinics. I was so happy to hear the news. Great news that Marla Ruhana, a homebound vaccine advocate, had to share. I immediately shared those resources, not only with the homebound, but those of them that are older adults. Ruhana says this is the hope that many homebound patients have been waiting to hear. It might be the first time, Larry, since the pandemic began that these adult children will be reunited with their parents. It's just been very disheartening for them feeling helpless. You know, they want to see them. And some of the homebound may be facing end of life issues. And so it could be the last time these adult children or friends of these folks get a chance to see them. And there's a lot of people, you know, in the city of Detroit that that don't have transportation and our poorest populations that really do need someone. Maybe they don't have any support system. A support system, Ruhana says she will continue to be for those who need it. So this is just such great news and just makes me want to continue advocating for all of those who cannot advocate for themselves. And if you want to learn more about this program, we have an information on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Larry Spruill, Local 4.